hametsa karatia anani ba merchavia. From the narrow places, I call out to God, and God answers in the wide expanse. These words from Psalm 118 are meant to be repeated and meditated upon during the High Holy Day season, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and really that whole month leading up to the High Holy Days, the month of Elul, a time when we are invited to engage in introspection, think about the places in our lives that feel narrow, that feel constricting, and begin to work our way toward what wide open space might look like in those places. Well, we're coming into another new year in our calendar, Pesach, right around the corner in just a day. And Pesach is considered one of the new years of the Hebrew calendar. It is, of course, the new year of spring, of new life, of new growth all around us. And it's considered a time of our liberation as well. So there's newness in that. We are encouraged during the week that led up to Passover to take a look at our lives similarly to the way we do in the month of Elul, to see where we have some narrow places. The Hebrew word for this ancient land of Egypt that our ancestors fled is Mitzrayim, which is related to that word Metzar, a narrow place. And so we're taught that every spring we get the opportunity to come out of our own narrow places into the wide open expanse. Just saying that makes my body relax a little bit. So my invitation for you this Pesach is not only to clean out our houses and get ready for this holiday of newness, but to take a moment to do a little bit of spiritual spring cleaning, to identify the narrow places in your life and see how you might begin to break down the walls that constrict and bind the heart to enter into wide open expansiveness of freedom. Chag Pesach Sameach.